What is up, YouTube? It's oh, your man. boy. Say what? What? You say something? No, nah, man. I'm just looking at my preseason stats, man. They're horrible. I mean, you're horrible, Rook. Well, what site is that you want? NBA.com. Oh, ah, yo. Hey. The God. Come here, man. I thought I was going to say. In-house stuff. Man, that's just the box <laughs> scores. Teams got high-speed cameras all around the arenas and the practice gym. Hey, <laughs> tell this dude. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Aaron. I this is the stats kid. I, the Aaron. stats kid. That's cool, too. So how my rookie doing, man? Hey, man. Nice to meet you. I'm DJ. He's actually doing really well. Um, your per-possession stats, uh, there's like 96 possessions with an average game. Mm -hmm. If you extrapolate those numbers based DJ, on... DJ, don't you listen... Sit in this man, he's full of bird seeds. You just keep your head in the game, okay? Got it, coach. Stats and possessions. <laughs> if you extrapolate those numbers based on the amount of possessions you play versus the raw totals. The, the, the raw total? What about the cook totals? I don't yeah. understand. If you extrapolate, your per possession stats project you. Look at Mark a fool. See? That's my rook, boy. Hey, man, I like the way you talking, man. Keep talking to me like that, bro. Of course. If you need anything else, let me know. All uh, right, bro. Uh, numbers related, of course. I like you, man. I like that dude. Hey, he's a commodity around here, man. So use him wise. I'm gonna use him every day. We can't just got to do That's hard, that's hard. Let's check this phone before, before it's game time, baby. Okay. Let's go. That's the side of our broadcast tonight. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And nothing... Hey, Kevin, Sixers coach Brett Brown says that Philadelphia reminds him of his hometown of Boston. He said the city has tremendous pride. The city wants winners. It's a tough, no-nonsense city. Nobody's sugarcoating anything. And I love that because you can just tell it like it is. My responsibility is to produce a team that plays hard. Guys? Thanks, David. Right on the money. Philly's passion for sports is something that makes them so unique. This is a player, when you're looking at your team and how you're playing in these early stages of the season, what are some of the things you're looking for? What, what are some of the compass signs you've got to read here? Well, you're hoping to see tendency. You're hoping to see uh, the culture, which means that your guys are getting to...
30 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the pass to DJ. Pulls it from 20. That one off the back iron and out. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Rogier kicks to Baines. Brown dishes to Morris. Shoots over Holmes. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Brown. Uh, and even with someone on, Morris is just a master at getting those shots over. Just an impressive player down low. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. 76ers lead by three. Live. It'd be good to start the season. And J.J. Redick, a focal point in his tenure with the Duke Blue Devils. I think I'll forever be associated with Duke and Duke basketball. Um, and obviously, that's a, a polarizing topic for some people. They like me. Some people don't like me. Uh, but I take a lot of pride in the fact that I went to school there, I got to play there, and I graduated from Duke. There's no doubt that he is Mr. Duke, uh, J.J. Redick. And it's hard to argue with that school's incredible success, Greg, whether you like him or not. And I know you've had a first-hand <laughs> view of Duke a couple times. Uh, you know, uh, and listen, I, I have the utmost respect for J.J. And, and Coach K and what they've done there. And, and listen, you could be known for a lot worse things in your life than, and, and, and haven't gone to a lot worse places. But, but I think for him, it's not about where he's been. Yeah, I think it's about where he's going, what's going to be the next chapter in his career. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And, uh, guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far on Philadelphia? And through that first period, for me, their work on the glass has been the difference. Well, it means extra possessions, and that's certainly reflected in the score right now. Sean Holmes out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Jared Bayless. Then it's DJ. And it's Embiid in at the five. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, Celtics coach Brad Stevens is known for getting the best out of his players. He said every NBA player has an elite strength. Some of them have 10 of them. Those guys are the very best in the league, right? But every one of them is here for a reason. And there are times where you can really soar with that skill. Kevin? And that's why Stevens is already one of the best coaches in the league, David. You've talked about him for a long time, getting maximum results from every one of his players. Takes the 13-footer, misses off the right iron. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Here's DJ inside. Hit them oh clean. Here's Rogier. Bayless covering. Rogier kicks to Brown. From outside the arc. That shot off the mark. And the 76ers go the other way with it. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. Two division rivals facing off tonight. They'll see one another four times this season. Rogier the pass to Morris. Rogier kicks to Tatum. There's the feed to Bain. Just five on the clock. A three from Morris. Rebound by the 76ers. And this game is done. They'll be off to take on the Raptors. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And for Joel Embiid, some real tough times to start his NBA career. Greg sideline, as we know, for the first two seasons with injuries. And so we conclude the first half. 76ers on top. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been. And the 76ers making a change here. DJ's checked in. Marcus Morris is checked in for Boston. 
for Boston. They come into this one following a loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, you're just not going to win many committing turnovers at the rate they did. That, that was just outrageous. Well, and then to compound the problem, they failed to force mistakes with their defense. Just too much turnover differential. On the court for the Celtics. Hayward outside at the three with Morris to his side at the four. Irving is out there with Smart. And it's Horford in at the five spot. In the NBA, everyone needs to work hard to succeed, but there are some players, Chris, who go above and beyond. Who do you think are some of the hardest workers in the league right now? Wow, well, I'd have to go with a guy like Westbrook. You know his minutes. You know how hard he plays for me. A triple-double. He was underrated in actually doing that last year because of all the effort that it takes, especially with rebounding the way that he did over big fellas. So you have to look at a guy like him. You have to look at a guy like Isaiah Thomas with his size, being undersized, being able to get into the paint, his toughness of being able to take tough hits, but also not complain, not be a victim, not use his size. Uh, as a disadvantage, but he uses it as an advantage with his quickness and also the way that we saw in the playoffs, him studying tapes of guys that came before him. So to me, uh, those guys come up in my, my head first when we talk about hardest working guys in the league. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Al Horford. Offensive rebound, Baines off with the layup. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Reddick gets a screen from Buckets. The three. Uh, uh, Good on the go. triple. Buckets go. got four this quarter. The last game this team came away with the win, and we saw the debut of DJ. Greg wasn't an easy start to his career, but he got his feet wet at least. Yeah, and this team knows they'll need to be a, a little patient with DJ as he gets used to the speed of the NBA. They, they were happy to get him some minutes in a win and start that process. Look, it would be a huge boost for them if he could start knocking these down. Cool. Well, one of the new faces on the roster ah. this season is DJ, and for those of you who haven't followed his story, made the team after getting a training camp invitation, but he's fought his way, Greg, into some minutes now. And yeah. to go one step even prior to the training camp invite, he got that invite by impressing in a street ball competition. Now, I know a lot of fans are hoping he can make it in the NBA just oh, due no. to his long shot story. Well, that's Pass giving him too much space from there, Bains. It doesn't hurt him there, but they can't it keep won. doing that. Come NBA, on. No good. NBA, you, no, this you has really, just been a really bad shooting right game, now. a horrible shooting game from him. NBA, like, you really need some real shit. Smart kicks to Irving. Oh, yeah, they got me sick of Kyrie. Three pointer. Hayward. Again, the new spot. Hayward. It's clear. This just isn't his night. I mean, if they're oh, going to keep it. him on the well, floor, man, I think Marcel. his best call yeah, would be to be a deep one. And Embiid is right there. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Now, a timeout called by Boston. Oh, and, and the Celtics bringing in Brad Stevens as head coach in 2013. That same summer, they made their blockbuster trade with the Nets. Two home run moves for their franchise. And Philadelphia will go for it. Oh, yeah, we took another W. Let's go, B. Here's McConnell. Here's Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Good momentum, eight straight points. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the 76ers. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. Get him, get him, get him. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Markel Fultz. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all around oh my. DJ yeah, he went with Holmes, it's and it's Jared Bayless, and it's C.J. McConnell, and it's Okafor in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. There's the pick. Irving kicks to Hayward. Contest the shot. Off the left side. I'm going to contest the shot, so I ain't contested. That's gay. So I ain't contested so the shot. And the Celtics shot. signed Brad Stevens got, to a six-year contract to lure him away from Butler in college basketball. Chris, they were very confident he'd be a great coach. Well, they might want to pull out their pen and have him sign another six-year uh, he's already established himself as one of the league's top coaches. And then oh, on the play, basket count, so it'll be a three-point play chance. Hey guys, you gotta ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. 
Oh, yeah, this is a nice run here, but too little, too late. And deep down, I think they know it. And here are the 76ers now. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. McConnell off a pick from Buckets. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. And it poked in the eye. Number two for him. Somebody out. Oh. To play here in the oh. Oh. Here's Buckets. Oh, let's go, bitch. Six points. How much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? At this yeah. Point, just Poor ass Terrific run. Closes it out. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to... Mm. Dimer. You can just stop her. Free throw ace. Mm. Mm. fucking go. Jalen Brown, why are you coming out with? Get the fuck out of here, you bro mad. Six points, one assist, two rebounds coming out. Fuck you, I'm a lucky not like you. Y'all keep it up. Check this phone, see if you get any messages. Nope. Messages. Go to the go to the closet in your mock court and put on a new shirt. Objectives. Hit up Doc's Barbershop and get a new haircut. Upgrade your plan to 6 5 overall. Go to BC Sports Management. I bet, bet, bet. So how the fuck did I do this? Lower the door. Hey, Why my face looking at that? I look, I look, I'm constipated like fuck. Like, ugh, shit. I look hella constipated, B. I look like I'm constipated. Come on, I just put a fuck. Y'all niggas gonna make me. Alright, y'all niggas, I'm out, bro. It's, it's hard as bitch in here. It's the W. I, I, I got six of our points. That should be enough. I'm only a 60 overall. Like, yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas need to step it up, though. Y'all niggas need to step it up. Y'all need to pass me ball when I'm open. Y'all niggas need to make shots when I pass to y'all. I nah, shut all this down. For real. You know how I shut it down? I shoot the whole thing up. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe how I can get a Gucci button one in this game. I feel like like later on and like this like on later on you gonna you gonna be able to do that. Up. I be back in these streets, man. Hi, life. Brian, got another local entry. Of course. Cool. Alright, so how do I access this shit? Hey. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh no. it's clapping. Alright, alright, low key, fuck that shit. So what's in here? Oh, this is this is where you live at. I have been expecting you. Marco Spinelli, but everyone just calls me Spinelli. Okay. So you're the new dormant. Hey man, I'm DJ. Oh, are you nice kidding me? No introduction necessary. If there's anything you need, anything at all, just let me know. Thanks. Food delivery, call you a car. Drop off a package, help moving furniture, I can pick you up a juice or a newspaper. Heck, I can even come up and help you rebound if you need. <laughs> That's good to know. Hey, you know what? I like you, Spinelli. Thank you, sir. I like you, too. I knew you'd get tired of staying out here for the long ass time. I would, too. Uh, my court. Mm. 
Spinelli. Uh, got to grab Jacob Spinelli. Yeah. So. Best of the I'm gonna just shoot around real quick. You already know what it is, cause. Oh. Uh, uh, buckets. I gotta change the shot. <laughs> Oh, hold up. Never mind. I got Jordan. A low key, yo, I think this is from, Yo, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but correct me if I'm wrong. But I had all these Jordan 2K17, so does that mean, like, it go. Can we go upstairs? No, we can't go upstairs. So does that mean, like, uh, I don't know. I ain't gonna say because I might, I might be stupid. Okay, okay. The house looking, looking a little bit high. Now. That complete one objective. What, what this is to do? Go put on your t-shirt. How? Oh, is this it? Closet. Hopefully, it is a new t-shirt. This bitch. Into closet. Cause hopefully, hopefully, I don't think I can. I'm about to go buy one. Like nigga, broke shit. Okay. Got a new seven sixes gear. We still got the same bullshit ass shoes though. Look at this. Yeah. Finna go steal all you girl, all y'all. Oh shit, I didn't mean that. God damn it. Two shirts. Two pants. One pants. Okay. Oh shit, I should've did something. Can we go back in closet real quick? Gotta explore some shit. Oh, that's all I want to see, for real. New heat first, but that's a big ass closet. Actually, you better go outside. Phone. So, I know we just completed that objective. Head up, docks. Doc, where you at, cuz? If you don't get the new haircut, you already know what it is. If you don't get the haircut I got in real life. I mean, the one I got, oh my God, packed it out. It kind of, it's the kind of hairstyle I got, but it's not like 100%. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 I look you like I walked past the barbershop like when the first episode I did. Mm -hmm. Look up. This nigga out here slump. The drunk ass up, man. You don't get your gay ass away from me, all oh, all oh, boy. Okay, okay. <coughs> we in the trenches. All right, what what the fuck is Doc's barber shop at? Got pass it. What is this? Into VC Sports, huh? What the fuck is this? Yo, I'm confused as fuck. That's right, Mom. Two bouquets of roses. Mm -hmm. Real roses, just for you. I knew you'd Brian, talk to me. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah, DJ's mom? here. I gotta Say go. Hi. Yes, he says hi. Yeah, she, she fix your door. <laughs> Look at this. What's on this? I did my agent thing. I got you a local endorsement with Weaver's Traffic School. Oh, I know, it's thrilling. Look at these things. Brian, you've been talking to me about shoe deals. Shoe deals. What is this? Weaver's something or another? I don't even Weaver's know what they do. It is Weaver's Traffic School, and what? they are a local business who loves doing things with the teammates. Okay, so hey, this, come is on, like, this is, is this like face? a legit, this is a real endorsement? Yes, it's real? a real endorsement. Come on, come on. This is how you work your way up. You got to do this to get the shoe deal. The shoe deals are coming. In the meantime, Weavers wants to put you on a billboard. A bill? Okay, now you have me at billboard. Right? Then I look at what you're saying. All right, you get to pick the one you like. Let's see what we got here. I look you like this one. Wait. Ooh, this one. 
the hoodie. The hoodie. The hoodie. That's the one I would have picked. I will let them know, and then I'll let you know as soon as the shoe deal start walking well, in. I sure hope so, Bri. I'll be waiting. No, you won't wait long. It's because I'm fast. <coughs> I know what I'm doing. Here. <coughs> sure, my buddy. Are you sure? Oh, that's so. That's what the VC. Okay. Time to go here looking swaggy and shit. Now, where is Doc's shit set, man? Like, that was passive. I know it's one of these little shits right here. Okay, I, oh, I can't access it yet. Or maybe it's around the corner. God damn, I'm all this damn walking and shit. <coughs> can't wait till I get the damn bike so I gotta worry about fucking walking. Yeah, it's around here. It has to be around here. Oh shit. Hey, what's over there? Is this in that alley, cuz? That, nope, this is my docks. Can can we get a tattoo yet? I doubt it. I ain't get a tattoo yet. Doc, who the fuck are you, bro? You you really better. There we go. It's good, Doc. And what's up, Doc? Philadelphia 76ers, baby. The Philadelphia 76ers. Woo! I better get a free haircut, nigga. What's wrong, Doc? What you mean, what's wrong? Don't forget, this is the same little kid mm -hmm. way back. He used to sit in my chair and take naps. Yeah, but Doc, now he's an NBA nap. You uh, feel me? I, I hear you. you. Right? I hear you. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you guys so much, man. This feels like the first time I can actually celebrate, not care who's watching, just do me. You know? It is. Isn't this crazy, Doc? And hold on to this moment. I but remember, stay humble. Course. Don't let it go to your head, because if it do, I'll take these clippers and ah, remind you where you came stuff. from. Yeah, and try these on. Not the new JBLs. Come on, fellas. Yep, man, man Jules pitched in and got you one side each. Yeah, I'm on the left. There's an inscription on it. Do look. Block out the noise. Remember where you came from and where you're headed. Whenever you need to get in the zone, put these headphones on. Abraham Lincoln, look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's from us, man. And if anything ever gets too loud, once you put these on, block out all the noise, just think about the barbershop and where you from. I will die. Yeah, maybe hook your boys up with some tickets. Oh, yeah, you know I got you guys on the tickets. Yeah, no that's problem. a great idea. No problem. We want to sit on the court next to all the cameramen. So when the NBA player miss a layup, he can land on us and crush one of those weird bones that we never heard of. What do you want today? Bruh, give me the, uh, what do I want? What? Where my hair, where my hairstyle at? Oh, yeah, this is the hairstyle I'm finna get, you know, like, probably December. It's a little man bun shit. I'm gonna get that for right now. But, <laughs> Yo, y'all smoking dick, ain't y'all? Nope. Hey, Doc. I'll be back. I'm good today, guys. Thanks. Be easy, DJ. See you later, young sport. Shit. Fuck smoking dick.